Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. We're on a train central air conditioner. Um, the complaint is that the outside unit isn't running. So I had the customer turn the, uh, the thermostat on to cool uh, and I had pulled the quick disconnect here. Um, so that's where we're at now. First thing I'll start with is checking the fuses on the quick disconnect. Uh, to complete this repair, you'll need a 5 16 driver, a uh, flathead screwdriver, and a multimeter. Okay, we have two 30 amp fuses in here. Uh, so I have my meter and I'm just gonna see if they're good. That one's good. And that one's good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, is I'm just going to go ahead and pop off this access panel which has all, all of our electrical components in there. Um, and then I'll put my quick disconnect in there and see if the unit comes out or not. Alright, so there's some uh, 516 screws that hold the panel in place. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove those. out we can remove our panel which exposes our uh, electrical components all right so we're going to put our quick disconnect back in we're going to see what happens all right so now we should have power going to the unit now obviously we still have no operation so i'm going to check for voltage at my contactor no voltage there no voltage there I don't have any power coming into my unit. So right now I'm just going to double check, make sure I don't have any bad connections with any wiring. Yeah, I'm just double checking that I have or don't have power there, which it shows on that. So I'm just going to check up in the, my, my service disconnect here and see if I can't with my meter, get inside of here and check this out. All right, so basically what I did was I checked for uh, power at my contactor. I didn't have any power. Uh, we took the cover off of our, our uh, service here and I checked for voltage and I'm definitely losing one leg. I only have 12 volts on one leg. So what I'm gonna do is go in there, check the breaker, reset it, see if that fixes our problem. Um, and then uh, we'll come back out and check our voltage again. So we went and uh, reset the breaker that we perceived to be the right one. And I'm still at 99 volts. That's the right one there. 120. 120. Uh, I'm going to go in there and just double check the other breakers, make sure it wasn't mismarked or anything. Alright, so I just went and reset any of the double 30 amp breakers. Uh, since nothing was uh, labeled clearly, uh, so we're going to now check our voltage and see if that rectified our issue. Now I'm still getting the 99 volts, uh, so at this point here we'd have to recommend the customer call an electrician. Um, she has an electrical issue where she's just not getting enough power to uh, the, uh, the service here. Alright, so we're just going to reassemble everything. Uh, cover just slides into place. And then there's one set screw at the very bottom that, that locks it in, so we're going to raise, put that back on. Uh, we can put our fuses back in. And then we're going to put our cover back on our air conditioner. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.